We're gardening for real, dude. We're gardening for real. <laughs> Check it out. See what Alex just found. He Freaking found like sweet. the old gardening dude, trowel. Dude, look at what you found. Look okay. at that tricycle, man. Know, that, that thing's old. pretty cool. What is going on today, you guys? Today we're going to be bringing the kayaks out again for some more magnet fishing here. I picked up a couple attachments for this thing since the last time we've been out to make it a little more user friendly you guys. So we'll see how well that does. It's also starting to get pretty chilly out here, maybe about 50 degrees or so. But either way, super excited to get out on this spot here as Fisher has found, what did you find? Uh, percussion cap. That's what it was. Really? Yeah, one was super. a percussion cap and the other one I forget what it was. Very interesting, dude. Hopefully we can have some great luck out there today, you guys. But let's launch the kayaks, get out to the spot, and I'll show you around where we're gonna be fishing today. All right, you guys. So actually in the past, we have stood on top of this bridge on foot and fished here, and we had a pretty good day. But in the kayak, we're gonna be able to get underneath the bridge and go at other spots that we couldn't before, you guys. Look at that, you guys. You see that magnet stuck on the side of the bridge right there, dude? I'll try to get closer so you can see it better. Oh, that's definitely a magnet, dude. Some magnet fishing evidence. <laughs> Check it out. There it is. I don't know if I want to try messing with that thing and try getting it off. It's a pretty small magnet, though. It almost looks like the end of the rope is like hanging on the ledge there. That's pretty weird. But anyways, you guys, here's the 360 Brute Boss that I'm gonna be throwing in there today. And honestly, you guys, throwing this full-size 360 magnet from a kayak is pretty risky because you can find some stuff that you are not gonna be able to get up out of the water from a kayak, dude. It'll flip you right over. But I'm feeling pretty lucky today, you guys, and I wanna find some good stuff. So let's get this bad boy in the water and see what we can find. Fisher over there is gonna be throwing the medium-sized 360 magnet, which is the the one that I probably should be using myself. <laughs> but I'm not that wise, you guys. Let's get right down to it. Ooh, I think we got a little bit of weight, dude. Oh yeah, first find of the day, dude. It, this thing is seriously crushed, you guys. It looks like a lid to like a, um, like an oil can or something like that, you guys. I mean, holy cow, this thing is seriously mangled up. This could have been literally anything in the past, you guys. But for us, it's just gonna be a piece of scrap weight to turn in. And all of that scrap weight, you guys, really does add up to some decent money. Oh, dude, here we go. Big, I just seen you look on that. I got nothing. Dude, holy cow. Check this out, man. What in the world? I don't know, dude. It looks like just a piece of like uh, mangled up twisted rebar there, you guys. Maybe like a piece of construction rebar at one point. Let's see what else is down there, you guys. Oh, dude. Oh my goodness, man. Throw after throw here. And this is seriously heavy. I think that this is what I had on my last throw, dude. My goodness. We have a seriously big and heavy thick pipe here, dude. Holy cow. Three throws and three larger items here, dude. Seriously, we're gonna have some good luck today, you guys. But what was this? I have absolutely no idea. But if you look closely at the very end there, you guys, you can see that there is actually threads right there. So, I mean, this could have been like a water line or something like that, you guys. Maybe like natural gas. I don't really know, dude. Ooh. Oh, dude, look at that. I got someone's um, gardening tool, or it's like a, like a, yeah, like a spade, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, like a digging tool, look at <laughs> We're gardening for real, dude. For real. <laughs> Check guys, it out. See what Alex just found. He Freaking found like, sweet. the old gardening dude, trowel. Dude, look at what you found. Look okay. at that tricycle, man. Know, that that thing's, thing's pretty old. cool. Awesome finds here, you guys. We're doing awesome. We've only been here for like 20 minutes, well, you dude. got the green handle on yeah, that Yeah, like, um, cool. this is usable, dude. Oh, like, yeah, that's there's exciting. nothing wrong with this yeah, tool here. Pretty cool. Oh, 
Ooh, dude, first one of these for the day. And in fact, I haven't seen one of these in a long time, dude. It's an old, old can. Holy cow, dude. And the label is still kind of readable here. What do we got? I can kind of make it out, you guys. It says the beer that made Milwaukee famous, you guys. Holy cow. I can't really read that part of the label or the top part, but dude, we definitely have an old beer can right here. And I wonder how old these things are. We got a little something on there, dude, but it's so dark underneath this bridge. Let me get out in the light and I'll show you what I think it is. I have an idea, you guys. It's a little half moon file, you guys. And this thing has been down there for quite a while because it is super rusted up, man. So despite it being a hundred years old, you guys, it is still in one piece, which I think is pretty cool, dude. Ooh, look at that, dude. We got this piece on here and it's an interesting one, dude. What the heck does that say? That says East Running? You see that, you guys? I hope that reads out the same way that it does to me, but I see East Running, R-U-N-N-I-N-G. And then up top here, it says Chairs. What the heck could this have been, dude? And it's like, a, it's like all diamond shaped. This is a really weird one, man. I got two of them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, two of the very same weird looking pieces here, man. I have no clue. They look like bike pegs or something, you guys. Definitely open to some more ideas on what you guys think these are. And when you put them together, it makes like a bolt hole, dude. Like something connected them together or something like that, dude. But I'm probably never gonna know. Oh, here we go, dude. Some pretty decent weight, man. And here it is. What the heck is this one, man? Oh, dude, another piece where I have no idea what this was here. I'm gonna need some help on this one too, you guys. It is so rusted over that if there was any sort of markings on there, you're not gonna be able to see them anymore, you guys. It almost looks like it was bolted alongside of a wall, you guys. We're finding a pretty good variety of unique finds today, you guys. Ooh. But we're gonna find one more thing over here, you guys. What the heck is this? Is this one piece or is this two separate pieces? It looks like two separate pieces, you guys. And the first one looks like a gate latch or something, dude. Or it could be like for an apartment door or something, or like a hotel room. You know that armature that swings open and it locks into like the rod that's bolted to the side of the door, dude? I'm pretty sure that's what this is. It definitely slid and there's like a, a notch at the end there where it would sit. And then this piece looks like a knife handle or something, you guys, with the blade completely sheared off, dude. Kind of just shooting from the hip here on these two pieces, but still some pretty cool finds, you guys. So I think I'm going to try the other side of this bridge here, you guys, for the remainder of the video. Let's venture into the darkness. <laughs> Where the heck did Fisher go? Dude, oh my gosh, what the heck did I land on? Look at I'm getting sucked right towards this thing. It's probably like a big old rock or something, dude. Oh yeah, something that's gonna flip my kayak over. That's what I got. Yeah, oh, easy. And we were just stuck on something. Oh, dude, there's like a bag on here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we pinched what looks like some sort of like duct tape or like an old shopping bag with a lug nut there, dude, you see that? So there's nothing in the bag, but this is still great trash to get out of the water. This does nothing good for anyone in there. Definitely happy to pull this stuff out. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, dude. Oh my goodness. 
Definitely the heaviest find of the day, you guys. This is like a three inch diameter pipe, dude. Holy cow. What the heck do you think was flowing through there, dude? Dude, the scrap weight that we're finding today is absolutely insane. We're definitely leaving here with a few bucks. And we definitely have a good variety of pipes today, you guys. But like I said, this one is definitely the biggest and the heaviest. Excellent throw. Dude, very next throw, you guys. We got some stuff going on here. Don't know what. Let's take a closer look. And I still don't know what the heck it is, dude. There's so much rust build up on these two pieces. Just a couple of whatchamacallits here. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Dude. Oh, dude, look at that. Oh no, dude, I'm ripping it off. I'm breaking it, trying to get it off the magnet. Check out what this was, dude. This is like a um, old, old bike man. Maybe like an old tricycle for like little kids, dude. This thing is freaking old. Wow, this is cool, dude. And we're pretty far away from the bridge right now, you guys. There's not even really houses around here. So what in the world is this doing down there? I've never seen anything like this before while magnet fishing, you guys. Pretty cool. Ooh, we got a couple things. Dude! Oh my goodness! I found a um, a golf club iron head. Really? Yeah, bro! Holy cow, dude! And this thing has been down there for freaking ever, man. Is there is no words on this thing. That was the first golf club ever made. Yeah, no kidding, dude. No, I'm no professional golfer here, you guys, but the angle on this wedge definitely makes me think that it's like a pitching wedge or something, dude. The shaft is obviously missing, but we got the head of it here. Dude. Oh, man, this is seriously heavy here, dude. Oh, look at this. Dude, we have a seriously heavy metal ring here with a couple like iron rocks rusted to it. This is like the biggest washer I've ever seen if that's what this actually is, dude. I am surprised that the back of my kayak ain't sagging anymore, dude, because there is a lot of weight back there right now. What an awesome day of fishing so far, you guys. You guys, we're rolling into the seven o'clock hour here and uh, it's gonna start to get dark here in the next like 20 minutes or so. We already got lucky enough to not see any rain on this cloudy day here. All right, everyone, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this super successful day of magnet fishing here, you guys. Both the fisher and I are soaked head to toe, and we are absolutely freezing here as it's probably in the low 50 degrees here. The stuff that we were finding here was more unique than the next, man. Holy cow. But as always, you guys, I appreciate each and every one of you for making it to the end of the video here. I'm going to go ahead and get that kayak strapped to the top of the roof rack and get my butt home and change because I am absolutely freezing here, you guys. Have a great rest of your night.